Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I am going to be unboxing both the January and the February fairy loot boxes. The January one has been sitting here in my university room for quite a while so I haven't been able to open it um, and the February one has just come so I thought that I would unbox them both at the same time. I actually don't know what one's what. I think this one's a January one because it has this little bit hanging out. So let's give it an open. Oh, don't want to flash you my address. So sneak peek. Woo. So first up in the box, we have the spoiler card. This month is Greek mythology for January with gorgeous artwork i love greek mythology so i'm super excited for this box um we'll put the spoiler card down and we'll have a look at it in a minute can't see anything on top i hate these brown plasticky things but oh but the first thing i see is this um what is this called like a spatula type thing but a wooden one now we did get a wooden spoon in a previous box so this like going along with the theme so on it it says oh if i don't drop it it says did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love that's from lovely war so here is the little spatula weird thing is is that my cutlery keeps going missing in this house i think it's because of the ghost his name's peter he keeps stealing my stuff. This is so beautiful. I don't know whether to use it or whether to just keep it because I don't want to get it stained and stuff. But that is super useful, really handy. Let's go into the next thing. Ooh, let's have a look at these. Ooh. So, ah, this says ceramic trinket tray. Do you know what? I actually need one of these for my jewellery because I keep my jewellery and like my stationary thing there and it's not very practical. <gasps> Ooh, this is pretty. So it comes in this cute little box. Wrapped up. Ooh. So this is the little trinket dish. It's got the little fairy loot logo on the back. I don't know what it's made from. Glass? Ceramic? Not too sure. But it's beautiful. It's got like bronze like foiling on it. And I don't know who. Oh, Cupid and Psyche. Is that how you say it? Possibly. Cute. Oh, I haven't looked at the spoiler card. Oh, let's go back. So. So it says for the wooden spatula. Da, 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 da. Designed by KDP Letters, features a quote from Lovely War by Julie Berry, super cute. Mm -hmm. And then the trinket dish featuring Eros and Psyche um, from the legendary love story between a mortal and a god. We hope this will be a mythical addition to your bedside table. Illustration by Tara Tija. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I never know how you pronounce her name, but it is beautiful i think i'm going to keep my jewelry on that okay the next thing we have oh we have a couple of oh god little brown envelopes well paper envelopes let's start with this one because this is a bookmark very exclusive metal bookmark designed by tara again let's have a little open I appreciate that these things don't come in plastic with fairy loot and there's always sort of been the paper. You know what, if I could open it though. Ooh, this is stunning. So it's a gold bookmark and it's got like tan nude colours on it. And I'm not entirely sure who this is on top. We can have a look at this spoiler card in a minute. But it's also got a little bird cut out on top there. I love 
get a metal bookmark i love getting bookmarks but metal ones especially i just think they're so nice and this one feels like such good quality as well so let's see so mona lime art has done this um oh it depicts athena goddess of war and wisdom okay cool so that is a little athena bookmark like i said i love greek mythology so i'm um, i love that let's move on to this second little paper envelope <gasps> oh okay so this is a medusa iron on patch i designed by alicia's world i know that not everybody likes iron on patches i personally really like them i have a denim jacket that is covered in iron on patches but there's still room for more so i like getting them but i know they're not to everybody's tastes but this is really stunning i love the story of medusa um and so it's gold and black really nice sort of simple colors so medusa sort of pops out um i really like this this is beautiful okay let's keep a looking so it looks like we have how cute so we have an art print here and it looks like it is percy and what is her name oh annabeth i was like i could not think of her name percy and annabeth from the percy jackson series this is really beautiful i love that it's just black and white and then there's like pops of gold i hang all my prints up here they'll slowly make their way around so this will definitely be going on my wall this is really pretty let's find out who designed it percy jackson art print by rs28 arz28 so cute really cute okay let's i think the final product before the book and the tarot cards is a book sleeve so this is what the book sleeve looks like it says but in a solitary life there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth madeline miller oh is this a cersei one this i think might be a cersei quote i read cersei and didn't love it i know that's sort of an unpopular opinion but this is still stunning and it has a zip and the inside is waterproof and it's a big one so you could fit probably a big hardback in here we'll test with the book um but that's really lovely let's have a look at this so inspired by cersei by madeline miller a brand new book sleeve um designed by chetty nora so that's who has done this super pretty I love fairy loop book sleeves. I think they're really good quality. Super cute. And then let's do the tarot cards. Ooh. So we have the four of wands and the three of wands. I don't think I know who these characters are. Maybe either Wrath and the Dawn, Ember in the Ashes themed. Let's have a little look. Of designed by Oz28, inspired by The Wrath and the Dawn by Renny Adier. Cool. I knew it fitted those sort of vibes. Um, these are really pretty. So we're on to The Wrath and the Dawn now with these new sets. Super cute. Okay, let's move on to the book. I have no idea. I think that's everything. I have no idea what the book could be. I did have a I, I knew it must be something to do with Greek mythology and I had a little think but the only one I could think of isn't even out yet so let's have a little look oh I can see gold sprayed edges let's get out all of the bits and pieces so we have the bookmark which matches the spoiler card then we have the letter from the author which looks stunning look at that medusa's head giving me lots of good vibes and then you have the fairy scoop but we'll look at that in a second so the book is 
Ooh, this is Law by Alexandra Bracken. Oh, look at the edges. The stenciled edges, gold with snakes. The top and bottom are just gold. This is stunning. Look at the spine. Ooh, it says hunt or be hunted. Cute. So inside, ooh, marble end pages. Oh my goodness. So we have an embossing on the book. Um, we have Medusa here and on the back we have another one, which is stunning. And then we do have artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, which looks like this, which is stunning. It looks like it almost takes place in a city, sort of maybe Patty Jackson vibes, not sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly read the um, synopsis. If you don't care, then I'll put a little timestamp. You can skip ahead. But it says, in modern day New York, okay, so I was right, it is in a city, a murderous game is about to begin, the Aegon. Every seven years, one week only, Zeus punishes the gods by forcing them to walk the earth as mortals. Savagely hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize the divine power and immort immortality. After her family was brutally murdered by a rival lion, Law, or is it Laurie? It could be Laurie, I'm not sure. Perseus fled, turning her back on the Aegon's cruel promises of eternal glory. For years, Law has honoured her parents' memory by doing one thing, surviving. For years, she has pushed away dark thoughts of revenge until now. As the next game dawns, love, Law, Laurie, I'm not sure, finds Athena gravely wounded on her doorstep. The goddess offers her an alliance against her mutual enemy and a way to leave the Aegon behind forever. But Law's decision to rejoin the hunt will come at a deadly cost and may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to destroy all of humanity. That sounds really, really good. Something definitely up my street. I'll definitely be reading this. I love the cover of this and I love a book um, about games and stuff or like tournaments so I'm super excited to read this. Oh look how pretty. Let's have a little look at the fairy scoop for this month. So of course as always you have your interview with the author. Um, so our edition of Fairy Loot has an exclusive cover. I don't know what the original cover looks like. Um, but it has stenciled sprayed edges, a digital signature. Oh, I didn't even check that it's signed. Ooh, so it is. Ooh, there's a map. Okay, am I going to get sidetracked? <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Let's keep going. It has a foil design on the hardcover, custom end papers, and artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket. If you want to join the read along for this book, it starts on the 1st of March. So it, that's, it's the 2nd of March today, so we're a bit behind, um, et cetera, et cetera. Next month's theme, which is what I have now, so we won't have to wait very long, is called What the Future Holds. So I won't read too much about that because we have it right now. But that was a really strong box. I love greek mythology so i just love everything in this box i think my favorite thing i'm not sure i think probably the book sleeve but i also really loved the bookmark um the little trinket dish was really cute i just think i loved everything the iron patch so adorable Okay, so let's move on to the February fairy loot. So the theme for this one is what the future holds. Oh, this is already open. Okay, let's do a little sneak peek. Ooh, cool. So... This is our spoiler card for this month. Very different to last month, but the artwork on the spoiler cards are always so stunning. But, oh, ooh, this is 
the box. Can't really see much. I see a candle. So this candle is called Eco and it is cranberry, peach, citrus and vanilla scented. And it's just blue inside. Ooh, that's very peachy and citrusy. That's definitely a summery scent. But it's really good. I'm not sure what this is based off, but this is a candle from Flip the Wick. It says broken isn't the same as unfixable. I haven't read too Oh, Eco! Oh, this is um Luna Chronicles based. Do you know what really threw me off? Is it Luna Chronicles based? I'm gonna have to check now because I feel like okay, it is okay. <laughs> So, new candle, hand poured by Fit the Wick, inspired by the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I knew I recognised Eco. What threw me off was the um the girl that's on the front. I forgot that she like becomes one of those um escort droids. But oh, I've actually just read um Cin uh, not Cinder. What have I just read? Crass as well. This smells delicious that's definitely going to be burnt in the summertime okay good start what is this well, we have a box oh cute so this says little moon fairy lights on it and it says on top the night walked down the sky with the moon in her hand Frederick L Knowles <laughs> powered by three AA batteries not included <laughs> it says in brackets oh it does say on the side for indoor use only oh my god the little moons this is cute i already have fairy lights wrapped around my bed but um i reckon i can add these to them these are cute so they're just um little moons very light. Cute. I feel like everyone loves fairy lights. I feel like that's such I'm making so much noise. Could I make any more noise? Can I get them back in the box? No. I feel like fairy lights are such a good thing to include in boxes. I feel like everyone just loves fairy lights. So this says to take your reading experience to a stellar level see what we did there we included moon shaped fairy lights hang them above your bed reading chair or place them on your bookshelves oh i could do that actually um yeah cute love those where did i put the candle oh, i put it there <laughs> so let's do the tarot card Ooh, let's do the tarot cards because they are on the top so we've already had the three and four of ones now we have the five and the six of ones I believe these are, what was it, Wrath and the Dawn? Oh no, it's changed. So this is Spin the Dawn. They are based off of with which I haven't read. Did we, maybe they only did two for Wrath and the Dawn. Or have I just not been paying attention and actually we did get more. But these are Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I seriously I haven't read yet, but these are stunning. I love the green. I don't think we've had green. Ooh. Giving me sort of Mulan vibes. They're really cute. I like them a lot. Okay, I think. Ooh, this is jumping out at me. Ooh. So we have a plastic box here with this gorgeous girl on the front. Ooh, what have we got? A little bag. I think this is either straws or cutlery, probably reusable utensils of some kind. Ooh. Oh, they're wrapped up in tissue paper. This is fancy. And yes, I do believe it is cutlery. <gasps> do we have chopsticks though? Because if we do, that's going to be cool. <gasps> they're gold. <gasps> oh my goodness. So let me undo all of them and then we can have a look at them all. So it's not chopsticks, it's a knife, but we have a really lovely fork, spoon and knife set. 
Oh, cute. And they all have things written on them. So the knife says everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. That's really cute. And the fork says think badass thoughts. And the spoon says every locked door has a key. These are stunning. I think they're supposed to be used as like a travel reusable set. I might, I already have a plastic travel set, so I might just use these as like my special cutlery for like a special occasion. But the fact that they've come like in like this little bag and all wrapped up in tissue paper, it's really fancy. So let's have a look. Um, features quotes from uh, Warcross by Marie Lou. Um, and the design on the box, oh, that's not the box, has the main heroine, Amika, illustrated by Warwick Art. Cute. I love getting usable items in book boxes. So that is that. Let's move on to this next thing. Ooh think it is a pillowcase. Ooh, so we have these wonderful characters. I'm really doing this proper cat candidly. No idea who they are, but it says through hardship to the stars. Oh, it probably starts here. Oh, it's Fred Rising. Okay. Cute. I haven't read um, Red Rising, but I do actually have it. Um, so it, this is cool. It says per aspera ad astra, red rising, pierce brown. This is really lovely. Um, I don't have any spare pillows to put these on. Um, so I might have to wait until I get one, but this is really stunning. Love that. Let's read the spoiler card. Da -da -da. It says just because the characters you're reading about are in an uncomfortable spaceship, it doesn't mean you need to be uncomfortable too. Grab a pillow, get comfy, and make it extra cozy with this new pillowcase. Um, Liz Art Zardonitz has done an amazing job. Um, and Chatty Noise Graphic Design has done the lettering, which is really cool. Okay, I think we're down to the last item in a little brown bag again. Ooh. So this says plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters know how to play at being human. Oh, I love that. This is stunning. I love how the design of the backing card has like the um, skeleton hands holding it. That's really cool. Um, let's see what this is inspired by. I don't recognize it. Oh, okay. Um, the iconic villain series by V.E. Schwab, which I haven't read yet um but i will definitely pick it up so that is all of the items let's have a little look at the book Got pins and needles in my leg oh so i see spread edges again let's have a look in the pouch so oh we have the fairy scoop the letter from the author, which is stunning. This artwork is beautiful. And then, of course, we have the bookmark that matches the spoiler card. So let's have a look at the book. That's upside down. So this is This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. Ooh, haven't heard of this one. But the cover is stunning and we have like a but it's coming up really red on camera but it is more sort of burgundy in real life sort of a dark maroon color all the way around let's have a look and see if it is signed it is that's cute oh my god this is stunning so naked it's sort of a beige colour, but it has this beautiful rose gold foiling, or was it pink foiling? More pink, of this beautiful character. I think it's the same one that's on the front. It is on the, um, that's from the author. 
This is one of the most stunning naked books I've ever seen, but just you wait because so this is by Warwick Art and look at it. This is stunning. I love the colours that she's used. Oh, I'm curious for that character. Is this like, I think it's probably a sci-fi book. So let's read the synopsis. Again, I'll put, if you don't care, I'll put a timestamp so skip if you don't want to hear but it says um orphaned and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes caris wants nothing more than to find her brother long ago shipped away but family bonds don't matter to the scriptorium whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automate automate an army don't know why i couldn't read that in her search for her brother caris does the seemingly impossible she awakens a hidden automaton, intelligent with a conscious of his own. Alex has no idea why he was made or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Karis. It's hurting her. It's, it's not hurting her. It's hunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother and the secret that's held her country in its power for centuries Ooh, interesting it's all on the back change your fate pay the price Ooh, sounds good let's check the fairy scoop so as always you have your letter from the author not letter from the author interview with the author so your edition of your fairy book is an exclusive cover has solid sprayed edges is signed by the author has foil design on the hardcover and artwork on the reverse of the dash jacket um and then the read along for this book starts on the 5th of april if you're interested so you have time on like last month's and then next month's theme is frozen fables so that is for march so you can expect items inspired by the Bear and the Nightingale, Winter Song, Spin and Silver, Wicked Saints, Winterwood, and even The Darkest Stars. Uh, it's going to feature a ceramic mug, which is cool. Sorry to all my housemates, yet another mug. <laughs> Am I sorry? No. Um, it will have an exclusive cover, shimmery sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, foil embossing on the case, and custom end papers signed by the author. So that is March and that is everything. So what was my favorite item in this, in this box? I think it's got to go to the cutlery, but also I loved the um, fairy light and I thought the enamel pin was really lovely as well. What else did we get? I'm like forgetting the pillowcase. So that wraps up this Fairy Loot unboxing. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I thought these boxes were really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm excited for March. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.